What's up YouTube? It's your boy Josh out here with Infinite Bassin. Today we've got a quick how-to video for you guys. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you guys are familiar with the double console mounts or how to get them set up, but we're going to take you through that. You know, a nice quick video of how to do that. Uh, the things you're going to need, you're going to need an Ethernet cord, the adapter dongle that comes with it, and then the Ethernet hub that all of these plug into uh, if you're trying to link multiple systems together. Right now I have a iPilot Ultrex and three Helix 9s all wired together and I'm going to show you guys how to do this on, on the consoles here. So you'll take your unit that's not connected to the transducer, the one that's going to be the one that's going to copy your one that's hard mounted. So what you'll do is you'll fire it up just like this. You'll hit your menu button here. Double tap it. You will go into your network. Hit network source setup, and then you'll see your status 2D, down image, side image, temp 1, temp 2, GPS. So, what you want to do is you want to find the actual model of your unit that is mounted to your transducer, which is on mine is the 298. The 093 is the unit that doesn't have the transducer hooked to it. This one's just going to be the slave unit essentially. You want to go in come down to this box and hit your right button on your keypad here to highlight that box for the transducer for your other model which will give you your 2D you'll scroll across your down image do the same thing side image do the same thing temp 1 same thing temp 2 if you have it which comes through your transducer as well which this one's not selected we'll go ahead and select that go back up go to your GPS and it's picking up the GPS from both all of my units, the side image unit, down image unit, and side image unit. This is the unit that we're running off of, which is our unit over here. The down image unit is the one on the front of the boat, on the bow, and this one down here is the third unit, down here is GPS signal. Once those are selected, they will show up in your status bar here, and once they are lit up white, that means they are actively working. If they are blacked out or gray, that means they're dormant, which you won't have any feedback or readout from any of those sensors. Um, that's pretty much it. When you first turn these things on, especially the slave unit, it takes a little bit of time for it to kick in. So once you turn it on, give it a minute, two minutes before you start flipping through the views or all you're going to get is your maps. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's just a nice quick how-to. If you guys have any questions, just drop them in the comments on the, below this video, and uh, I'll get back to them.